Hello, I'm Olga Zinoviva and I want to share my experiences of working individually on the Moodle project called Schools. My subtopic was let's create a perfect school. Uh, we chose the same logo for the course for all our topics as a team and we decided on the same components of each subtopic. Introduction, reading, vocabulary, listening, grammar, speaking, writing and text. So, um, the first exercise I added um, was this. Uh, would you like any of these facilities in your school? And you have a number of pictures. I added this um, as a resource uh, page and uh, added the photos. I didn't work too much on um, designing the photos because uh, we were very much pressed for time. Um, then the next exercise was video. I added it as we do add the YouTube videos from Screenoma Customatic. Just uh, in Rich Editor, uh, added the link and activated the link. So you can watch the video. Next exercise that I added was the quiz. So next uh, component is reading and you before reading, um, can see the uh, positive approach as a way to confidence and happiness. Uh, the headline, and you have to decide where uh, you have to put this headline to what paragraph. Uh, then goes the text itself so the article you can read the article again as a page i oh, i added as a page and you see the, i added the paragraph one two three four five so you have to decide where the positive approach goes to then some after reading exercises i added them as choice so it's just a question what is the main difference in of evans ideal school project from regular school mm and uh, uh, you see that i have already done this test uh, this question let me see another question your selection so uh, the results are currently are not currently viewable i'm sorry i wonder why it is like this but anyway uh, they're supposed they, they usually work as questions after reading questions and then uh, the next component is vocabulary so i created a glossary um, you see the list of words i gave definitions here i added a photo and i even added the keywords from feel engaged you see foster fostering a sense of community as it was in the text in the reading it's very comfortable to create a glossary because students can add a new entry and also um, from the glossary you can uh, then create all kinds of uh, vocabulary exercises for example cryptic snakes and ladders scrotword on ideal uh, school which you can add uh, in activities list uh, and uh, you will see that there are the same words as there were in the glossary We'll just show you how it looks like. Mm -hmm. So, for example, eight inborn, yes, and you have to here uh, find a synonym of inborn. Mm -hmm. uh, well, well, well. Um, so glossary is a great thing to do it can students can add other entries also i gave a link to um, a great platform great website called quizlet so the same words are here um, also there is a photo here of the word engaged uh, fulfilled uh, you can listen to the words pronunciation, you can play with the words, that are, uh, sorry it is in Russian in my computer, but you can practice the words, uh, here it says cards, 
test, spelling, writing, matching, gravitation game, another game. So you can play games with the words just um, by pressing the link. So Quizlet is really worth learning, worth mastering, I think. Um, wow, now I lost my Moodle for teachers, I am afraid. Uh -huh, here I am. I also added a PDF file for printing to practice the words. Mm -hmm. Then listening. Thanks to the lady I met, I came across here on Moodle. I know how to use from text to speech. Uh, and so I found three opinions in the internet about perfect ideal school. And then I, um, well, edited these opinions so that they are they look like short texts then i inserted these short texts into the website from um let me show you from text to speech and from text to speech com and you see as you insert your text here you can uh, choose who will um speak um a woman, a man, uh, will he be English, British English or American English? You can select speech and create audio file. So with the help of this exercise, I created listening exercise. Um, but pre there is a pre-listening question and three people, Jeff, Lucy, Emma. Then were the three speakers ideas different? Uh, and who has better ideas do they focus on the same aspects they have to write their own uh, exercises i did it also with the help of the voting activity uh, adding voting activity here with this symbol also i created a quiz listen again and answer the questions Lucy believes that classroom is the best place for learning. True, false. Next page, you see. For example, it's true, yes, and you uh, finish a temp or next page. Ah, it was the last question, you see. Answer, you can see the results at once. Some other activities that I added, it's hot potato. I love this website. I Well, this is a platform. I downloaded hot potatoes software in my computer simply by pressing download once i did it uh, i could create very easily um, like quizzes matching quizzes um, which i loved and i also recommend highly to learn to work on this just a second while it is opening you will see listen again and match Jeff wants you have to choose small classrooms with fewer students, innumerable activities in and out of the classroom, and so on. let it be like this. You see, correct. Your score is one hundred percent. So uh, once again, hot potatoes is just great for using. Also, uh, you can use their, you can create their alternative quiz, uh, question quizzes, um, matching exercises. Uh, well, like. I'm sorry, it's not really too good. Um, well, who, for example, drag and drop. A teacher asks more questions from student. Mm -hmm. So match the items on the right to the other items on the left. Uh, mm -hmm. Who said about AI classrooms, about students uh, that should be treated almost as uh, equals? Mm -hmm. So you... Mm. You just press on the name. Well, I must admit that not everything works as perfectly as I would like to, but um, I still have to, a long way to go in exploring Moodle and so on. Anyway, uh, in Grandma, I used a web page uh, to give a poster with conditional sentences then in uh, i also added a video uh, as a video uh, watch the video about conditional sentences i um, added a powerpoint presentation and test 
here and I also uh, added some um, grammar materials and uh, exercises into the folder. Then uh, as for speaking I used a poster resource uh, and here I uh, made some exercises like range the following components by priority considered enthusiastic teachers modern cool and comfortable building school facilities so what is more important for you in a perfect school give reasons here then please listen what other people answered in the blog and then you are recording by pressing new entries you see you you can uh, actually view uh, my entries what what i said about um, perfect schools by using Moodle, um, Moodle Rich Editor. You remember there is a microphone button there, you press it and you can talk into the microphone and record your voice. So I did speaking about um, I'm just I'm sorry but it, it does work believe me and then you can also add your own opinion uh, I just don't want to waste time trying uh, more, but it does work. Just, uh, well, I'm sorry, I, I, I pressed press, uh, press the wrong button. I don't want to press pause. Um, and uh, also, I used um, another activity here. Let's talk about perfect schools. Let's make a plan of creating a perfect school. What is the most important for school and how can it be achieved or created? Click here to enter the chat now. Uh, so you can start communicating. Send messages and also you can use voice chat um, saying your opinion um here in in the same ah yes it was chat activity that i added well i'm, I'm about to finish now uh let me uh just create your perfect school here um you see i invited the members of my team and nelly and i asked to add photos draw pictures write a plan uh record your voice while speaking about ideal voice mm -hmm. And um, you, you can see here, own files, edit and upload files. So you will um, see as you press the rich editor, with the help of which you can add all media files and text files that you want to add, which was a good idea, I think. And the last thing was writing. So I opened a journal where you should write about a perfect school. Mm -hmm. start or edit my journal entry mm -hmm. and uh, I also at the end placed a test well I have to admit that I still have a long way to go uh, in polishing my skills and adding things so thank you very much for your attention bye